Hey, what's up? We finna do Aquarius. I right, babies. What's up? How y'all doing? No disrespect. Okay. I send love and light to y'all. What's up? What's how has it been going? I hope it's going good. I'm enjoying the peaceful day. I hope y'all are. We probably gonna talk about Aquarius next seven two. What's up with you? How y'all doing? I want to send love and light to every Aquarian out there. I want to send peace and happiness. That's what I'm here for. I ain't here to start nothing. Don't like tarot. Because I'm not trying to make nobody like that don't want to be here, you know. Apparently we need each other. That's just how it goes. I'm going to get, get something else straight. I ain't getting paid for this right so this is my time that I spend to give you all these messages. And I love giving you messages. Because that's stuff you need to know. And as we get down the road, I'm going to do a little bit more stuff. So here we go. We're going to talk about what's going down with you in the next 72. Okay. Hold on. Sorry, yeah. Let's see the moonology. What energy is they dealing with in the next 72? What energy is they dealing with next 72? Let me send love and light and blessings. Let's do a little prayer. Thank you, Father and Heaven, for blessing everyone that's, that have joined me to get the knowledge we seek. Thank you for your blessings that you have put upon us. Protect us as we do this reading. Protect anybody that's watching it. Make sure everybody's safe. And thank you for sending your angels to protect us, Archangel Michael and all the rest of them. And thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah. Let's get business. What's going on? What energy? What's going on in the energies? In the next thing or two for my current. What current is what's going on in the energy? What's going on for us in the next 72? Spirit, what the energies they're gonna be good with the next 72? My Aquarius, what energies? Okay. We have have faith in your dreams under the waxing crescent moon. Have faith in your dreams, Aquarius. Keep it pushing. Ain't nothing out this not impossible reach. You just got to believe it's in reach. Okay? What is the problem? What is the current problem going on with my lovely Aquarius at this time? What is the main issues that are going on in love, family, whatever they need to know, Spirit? What is the main issues going on in their life at this time? What is the main problem in their life at this time? Aquarius, main problem in the next 72. Aquarius, main problem in the next 72 hours. Okay, what's the main problem going on in with uh, my uh, lovely occurrence in the next 72? Okay. We have manifestations. Your manifestation, you're doing some kind of, you've been trying to manifest something. And this uh, goddess, Mojo, do the is trying to help you because you're trying to manifest something. You're working on your uh, manifest your dreams and your manifestations right now, so you're pretty busy on that, and uh, that's got your attention. What is the uh, past problem to this? What is the past problem of the manifestations that got going on? What is the past problems to this issue? The past problem was, hold on y'all, I'm sorry. The past problem is awakening. You came to, you had awakening. The number 40 could be persistent. There's, somebody had awakening. It could be a, a birth for something. Somebody is birthing something. Um, somebody feels liberated in the past, number 37. You felt like inspired in the past you birthed something you felt like you was doing something you was trying to make something happen what's going on in the present situation in the next 72 hours with this situation a manifestation 
Okay. Alcus me. Some of you are queen. Let me get this. I want to see the meaning of this card. 38. Just a second, y'all. These cards, I'm learning them too. So, we got to look it up. Nothing wrong with a little knowledge. Remember that. So, this is the uh, element is fire. Somebody is, this is element, the present situation. It says it's time to turn everything that life throws your way into gold. You are on the path of fulfilling your purpose. So, uh, alchemy, some of you are on your path to um, get, you know, get your dreams, what you're trying to manifest. You're on the path. You're on the right path. So, it says you are an um, ultimate uh, activist. You have the power to bend the universe energy. Dare to transmit lean into gold by shifting from fear to love. Everything you desire exists in some from some form of loving energy. Match this frequency. See it in your mind. Eyes first. Imagine it. I am love fully. What does it look, taste, and smell like to be loved unconditionally? I am happy and healthy. See it. I am a money magnet. What does it feel like? Remember, everything I touch turns to gold. You need to say, you know, these affirmations that you can, that you, you just, money just comes to you. Because you always, that mindset, you manifest as long as you leave, you know, put yourself in love. Money will come to you. What does the future hold for the situation? What is the future in this situation? Whoa. The future is, okay, desire, joy. And rebirth, radical refurb. Some of you have the desire with a number eight. Nigel, Jim, this is the goddess that is. I can't say it. It's a num in the future you're gonna desire, your desires will be met. You're gonna have joy in whatever you do in your life. There's gonna be joy, fulfillment, um, children, someone might get pregnant in the future. Uh, there's a radical rebirth going on in your life. Uh, the number five could be specific to someone. So in the future, all of this is going on in your life because the dreams that you are trying to do. Okay, what are you doing consciously? What is going on consciously with this situation? Consciously, you are resistant. You know, you was resisting. Um, but uh, Gang Gang Sarah, the resistance... They're going to try to take away. They were constantly. You was resisting stuff. Number 22. You was resisting knowing that your dreams are capable is what I hear. You was resisting it. Unconsciously, what was they doing, Spirit? Unconsciously, you were self-sabotaging. You were self-sabotaging the situation unconsciously. Number 24 could be persistent. Somebody was self-sabotaging but the self sabotaging their harvest is what they were doing. And you didn't know it. What's the hopes and fears to this situation? Hopes and fears to this situation. What's the hopes and fears to this situation, Spirit? Okay. Giving and receiving. The God is met. It's giving and receiving. That's what you hope to get. You want someone to give and just like you give. You want to be treated equal. That's the main influence here. Being treated equal is important, important to you. Okay? That's what you always wanted. Internally, what internally influence is going on? What's internal influence is going on right now with uh, my Aquarians? What's the internal influence going on with Aquarians? Next seven. Okay. Can't show you that one card. Okay. Internal influence is a wounded healer. Someone was wounded. They was wounded. It was a wounded healer. And it was sacred lust. The goddess of um, 
Kuchi T. Yeah, I can't show you this card because it's nudity. Uh, number 26 would be position. This could be around the moon phase. It could be someone that wanted you a sacred lust. And so you're healing from that. You're healing from that desire to be with that person and that's not longer with you. Outcome to the situation. Well, I mean that your influence. What is your influence to this situation? What is your influence in this situation? What is Aquarius influence? Aquarius influence in this situation is sacred. I mean, secrets are revealed in number 36. There's some secrets. Your influence is there's secrets that will be revealed to you that you need to know. Some of your secrets will be told. Somebody will gobble gobble. What's the outcome to this situation? What's the outcome to this whole situation? Outcome. Outcome is um, speak up. They want you to learn how to speak up. Number 33 could be persistent for someone. The goddess, uh, main combo, bang, you can see it down there. Um, they want you to learn. The outcome is you'll learn how to speak up for yourself. And what else what would be the outcomes to the speaking up? What else is the outcome to speaking up? What is the outcome to speaking up? The outcome, you get grounded. You will be learn. This is the goddess will teach you how to be grounded in the out in the future. The outcome, you'll get more grounded. Number, um, I think that's number. What number is that? Number. Number eight could be Pacific. What else? Outcome to this grounding. What else? Outcome. What else to this? So you'll be more grounded in the future. And what else is going to be the outcome? And you will learn how to speak up for yourself. And rage. And soul forgiveness. Sometimes you got to learn to forgive yourself. See that's the problem. When you got rage. Rage number 23 could be sipping. Number 28 could be persistence. Somebody got to. Learn how to forgive. Soul forgiveness. And then the rage. Somebody was in rage. And they're learning how. The soul can forgive. That's what they're they're learning now. You're learning how to forgive. What happened to you in the past. So you can go forward Aquarius. Because the past has a way of. Keeping you bound. In other words. So. Focus on love and manifesting your dreams. Don't worry about the drama in your life. Don't even put that in it. Man, act like it don't exist so your so your money and harvest can come through. Listening to all this negativity and stuff ain't ain't about it either. Okay. Yeah, what's what's the outcome? More on the outcome to this situation. Is there anything else you would like to tell? Aquarius at this time. Anything else? Aquarius at this time. Aquarius. Anything else going on, Aquarius? What else is going on, Aquarius? Aquarius, next 72 hours. What else is going on? Next seven two. Okay, um, you will triumph. It says six of wands. Good news, gain advancement. You will be promoted. You will be reckon. You get recognition of your abilities. The six of wands. You're going to get recognized. Um, then you have the nine of coins. Accomplishments, discernment, discretion, foresight, safety, material well-being, love of nature. Shelter environment causes you are making cautious decisions in the future because you got the nine of coins. You're trying to get all your your blessings to come to you. You're making better decisions, and so your outcome is you will triumph in whatever you do. So don't worry about it. Keep your faith about yourself, Aquarius, because you're doing macking and you're gonna super you're gonna super style. You're gonna make this out of super sandwiches. Put it that way. You eat a lot of sandwiches, whatever you like.
The high price sandwiches. Not the low price sandwiches, but the high price sandwiches. Okay? But anyway, that's your reading for next 72. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank y'all for joining me, my lovely Aquariuses. Please push that down. Show me some love. So I come back to you. Did you appreciate it? Because I just want to sit in love and like to everybody. That's what I'm supposed to do. Guide you what I can help you with. So that's what I'm trying to do for you. So sending you love and light so your, your life could be better and prosperous. I'm not here to put anything negative to anyone. But whatever comes out, it just comes out. So thank you very much for joining me. Remember what I said, push that bell, like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all. I love y'all.